But even still, if you know that the past, the Feast of Unleavened Bread starts on the 15th day, the scripture clearly tells you that, that means it starts sundown on, on the evening of the 14th. And so the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread is actually the same. The feast of the Passover feast and the feast of unleavened bread actually start at the same time. And these please examine these scriptures. Exodus twelve and eighteen. It says, In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at even, ye shall eat unleavened bread until one and twentieth day of the month at even. Again, in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at even, ye shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twentieth day of the month. This is regarding the Feast of Unleavened Bread. It starts on the fourteenth day at even. Okay? Which we now understand is the fifteenth day. The Feast of Unleavened bread is on the 15th day, but it starts at the 14th day at even, which is the same time the Most High tells us that we are to start the Passover. When you go to Deuteronomy um, 16 and 6, it says, But at the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name in, there shall Thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at even, at the going down of the sun, at the season that thou comest forth out of Egypt. Again, that's Deuteronomy 16 and 6 is telling us that we are to keep the Passover at even on the 14th day at the going down of the sun, at the season that thou coming out, cometh out of Egypt. Then you go to Exodus 12 and 6 and it says, And ye shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month, talking about the Lamb, um, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. So this established that the Passover is at sundown in the evening, but it also established in Exodus 12 and 18 that the Feast of Unleavened Bread starts at the 14th day at even, which is also the 15th day. So you have to examine these scriptures, please, and so that you know the days in which are holy to the Most High, so that we can keep the laws and our statutes and our Sabbath rest and sacrifice to a higher not to Moloch and Baal. So when you count those seven days that are rest, this month it ends on the 11th. Not the 12th like the pastor tells us. It ends on the 11th of April. And so the reason why this is so important because if you, then you count seven days. The first day is supposed to be a holy convocation which is a Sabbath rest. And the last day is a holy convocation which is a Sabbath rest. So when you the elder, he tells us that it's an eight-day feast and that it ends on the 12th. First, run them off to you. So you'll have those particular holy days on your calendar and you can mark your calendar for these holy days. All right? They are correct. They are according to the scriptures and they are according to the new moon. All right? The first one. Okay? Purim. When I say the first one, because that's the next one we'll be dealing with, March 5th sundown to March 6th sundown. And it's March 6th sundown to March 7th sundown. On the 6th of March, this is the time to give gifts, which is the 12th month according to the calendar, according to the Sabbath, according to the, uh, the calendar. Okay? So, during the time of Purim, or the time of Esther was the Most High told us to make this a memorial and we went into those scriptures and you'll be able to get those and it's in the book of Esther 
make this a memorial throughout our generation and giving of gifts all right so if you want to give gifts instead of doing it on the, ho the so-called pagan holidays this is the time to do it okay so you, you're talking about March 5th and 6th then of course we got the most important uh, holy day the Passover okay the Passover uh, actually is, is in significance because we are to remember our deliverance from the land of Egypt we're the children of Israel and the Most High delivered us from the land of Egypt okay and the greater part of that is Christ being sacrificed and given up on Passover night and now he's become our Passover and through his blood we're saved so that's the greatest significance of the Passover because Christ became our Passover lamb and then of course that's April 4th sundown notice I keep saying sundown and we're going to go into that in a moment feast of unleavened bread okay the feast of unleavened bread is seven days eating un, uh, eating without leaven in your baked goods or what you would call yeast or anything that make your bread rise whatever that is bacon soda whatever you cannot have those products in your bread you must you know abstain from eating those things for eight days if you include the Passover but the next day which is which is April 5th sundown is the feast of unleavened bread at the end of the feast of unleavened bread you have to count seven days it's also a Sabbath which is April 12th